me know. Let me know what. What about wine? It didn't say you can't drink. That's why I said, I'm just, I'm just, no, nah, I didn't say that. I just said, it says being or addicted to what kind of wine? Too much. Too much. Okay, but what is that word? To what? Teach. Teach what is good. Okay, so it's a lot of teaching, but not good. Okay, all right, here we go. Then they can do what? Urge. Urge. So if I'm urging, that's another way to say then I can teach. Because now I know. Okay, so now I can teach the who? Ooh, to do what? Love. Who hugs? They are hugs. They are hugs. Not mine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. And they what? Children. Okay. So once again, the older women have to teach the who? The younger women. But they have to have good examples, you guys, that we have lost that along the way. All right, here go another one to be what kind of control? Self-control. Y'all, we live in a world people will cuss you for no reason. They will cuss, they so angry. I never seen so many angry people. They everywhere. And they, they don't have an age limit. They, they get younger and younger. They can't say they ABC, but they can, they can do everything else, okay? All right, so, and it says to be pure. To be what at home? Be at home. So, your, your own house. You, okay, one more time. You can unbuckle now, Miss okay. Ashley. You say, <laughs> this is your own house. Okay, so that's why I'm not going to be in Miss Diane's house. Okay, I'm not going to be in Miss Morgan's house. But I got enough stuff going on in your house. my house. And that is a true statement. I got that. Okay. All right, here we go. And it says to be what? Kind. And to be subject to who? Their own husband. Not nobody else's husband. To your own husband. Okay, so that no one will malign the word of God, okay? That means just evil, speak evil against God's word. But to know all of this, I have to be what? What I got to be? The T word we've been talking about. Teach. Teach. I got to be taught. I got to be willing. I got to be good things. Y'all, we're teaching all the time, but are we teaching good things? That's, that's, that's what we're losing, okay? All right, so I'm moving, I'm moving, okay? All right, I'm moving, I'm moving. All right. We're almost at the end. Final thoughts. This was a scripture that Miss Hazel taught me a long time ago. And I was so upset with her. I said, out of all the scriptures in the Bible, why did I have to learn this one? And we're on final thoughts. It says, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. Never forget. For in much, what? Wisdom. Wisdom. Is much what? Okay, I want you to think about that. So, do I get wisdom as a young person? Yeah, you can. You can, but okay, okay, but normally, okay, you gotta, okay, come on, y'all work with me, okay? It's always an exception to the rule, don't get me wrong, but we we're talking about generalization, okay? And much wisdom is much grief. Okay, so the more I know, but where does the grief come in? Uh-uh, buckle up, Mr. Sandra. You got to buckle back up now. Uh-uh. uh-uh. I'll let you lose. I'm going to lock you down. Uh-uh. So what does that mean? Grief, if I know more, if I know more, what's now? Why would I have grief on this journey? Because why would I have grief? Because you go against the world, and the world will tell you that because you're wise in what you do, people will look at you totally different, okay. and you'll lose the friends, you'll lose the family. You, it's going to cause grief. Okay. And wisdom, knowing that wisdom comes from God, it means you'll be closer to God. Okay. And remember, grief is, I can feel grief for somebody else. Like, you ever feel bad for people? Because they going through things, you say, oh, they didn't have to go through that. Lord, if they would only listen. Only if they would have just paid attention, adhere to the good teaching that was available. And you feel so bad for them, and you just pray that they can get it right before it's all said and done. Okay? And it says, and thank you, Pastor. You, you don't get no gift, but okay. <laughs> and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. What does that mean? He that increases knowledge, we went to wisdom, increases sorrow. What does the second part of that scripture mean? Just what are you thinking? It could be something of what Pastor said. Just say it in a different way because wisdom, knowledge, brings sorrow. So what do you have to add to that verse? Your interpretation. You understand more consequences. Okay, you understand the consequences, okay? Reverend? Yeah, that's basically what I was going to 
to say that. Say it again. <laughs> like, it, like when you know, when you know, when you know more, okay. you, you become sad. Because you know, you can say this child like with this word, like son, if you go down that path, yeah. uh, it, it's going to lead to destruction. Mm. And it hurts you when they go down that path and they go to destruction. Okay. You know, that's saying what your children. Yeah. They have to tell them all day. Yeah. Okay, if you do this wrong thing, this yeah. is going to happen. Yeah. So you have a knowledge. Yes. But the sorrow comes in when they don't do what you ask, you know, do. And then they oh. come back to you. Oh, man. So I'm and it hurts like, even more. Yeah. And don't you think, or could you imagine that God, just imagine, mm. we have, we're his children. Mm. He's, it's already been prophesied how this is going to end, how this is going to work. And yet still, everybody will not be saved. Mm. Can you just imagine that feeling of grief and sorrow knowing, okay, you still have a chance, you still have a chance, you still have a chance, okay? All right, let's look at next steps. What are your next steps in this disappearance of the virtuous woman? What are some things that you can do? Now, we know we can't save everybody, but we can pray right. something, okay? So right. you may say you're going to pray more because I know you already pray, yeah. okay? You're praying, okay? Just think about what are your next steps, and I just want you to think about that for a second. I want you to think about your next steps, and what could the church, since we are the church, what could be the church next steps and the disappearance of the virtuous woman? Just think about that. Even if you don't write, just think. Mr. Tim, you can unbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that I'm, that not only, I'm talking about the totality of the church. Yes, ma'am. Not just Mama Wright, but if we had in this area, especially, uh, maybe once a month. Yes, ma'am. And then start whatever sanctuary, and then broaden out, and, and start inviting other churches, women from other churches, so forth. And we have like formerly a women's group. Yes, ma'am. Where the older women can. Uh, because there's so many, everybody in here have knowledge. Yes, ma'am. God have given each one of us knowledge. Yes. Everybody in here have a gift where they can give some input so that we can uh, come together as one. Yes, ma'am. And formulate a group of women. And then as we <coughs> are willing, we have to, we have to, we have to steal, we have to tooth, but we have to be willing mm -hmm. to share yeah. and interact with others. Yes, Too many of us, we have the talent, mm -hmm. but we keep it hidden. Yeah. Yeah. And God is trying to tell us it's time to expose. Mm -hmm. yes. It's time for us to broaden our horizon. We talk, we, we keep talking about what our children, we see our children do it, but whose fault is it but ours? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Agreed. I say that all the time. We're in error, and until we get it right, the children will continue to do what children do. What? Right. Lasting thoughts, Reverend. Well, you said as a church, what can we do? Well, let's start with you. What are you going to do first? Well, I, well I'm doing it. Because it starts with us, right? So okay, okay. so what are you church. doing? So, uh, first, you got to be an example for outside. Okay. Every time we walk out this door, we got to be an example. We represent God. Okay. We're Christian. Yes. We got to know we're Christian. We gotta be aware of our surroundings at all times. Yes. And we gotta look for opportunities. Yes. And then the main thing, just like uh, Sister, Sister Acton just said, we gotta to wanna to do it. Yeah, we want. I mean, it's one time we in church, and the only thing we wanna do is just be, be fed. We wanna be fed, but we don't wanna do anything work. to build up build the kingdom. Work. I, everybody has a responsibility to work in the church because. If the work stops here, it won't go out there. Right. right. I mean, and, I mean, if you can't go to churches, it just stops right here. Yeah. So we get we get fed, and we don't we don't we get when I say fed, we get the word, and the word stops right here. Yeah. Oh, the, oh, it was awesome at church today. But then all of a sudden, when we go into the world, nobody knows we're Christian because you never try to help. Them. Yeah. Nobody knows anything about you because you don't give your testimony. You don't lead by example. You avoid. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Got started. Right. But you saw it. You saw it. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. All right. So he okay. We live together. We good. We good. Okay. All right. So our biggest thing, biggest takeaway is that yes, the 
virtuous woman is disappearing, but she is not gone. Because I see virtuous women all the time, especially in Montmorillon. And I appreciate each and every one of you because you have helped me be the woman I am today. So I hope you enjoyed the cold case file, being a Christian detective, being on the task force. But with this takeaway, I want you to see yourself where you are, where God has brought you, so we can bring some more women along this Christian journey, showing good example. And Pastor, we're going to close out with you. Thank y'all.